almost out of gas, almost at 29,000 miles, but at least I have this dope new shift knob. Look at that. Super happy with how it looks. I had a custom made from a guy in Canada. Um, his website, I believe, is called uh, A Car Guy's Garage. He hit me up on Instagram, um, liking the Trident pictures that I have. And if you guys don't know, Trident, which is the symbol right here, is the Ukrainian symbol for freedom. I have the rear diffuser, the rocket bunny rear diffuser in the back right there, as you guys can see. I'm going to my buddy Alfred's house. We're going to be installing it. I got the hardware. Uh, this is the most nerve wracking part of the install of the whole Rocket Bunny. Well, one of them. Um, I'm going to be cutting into the bumper, cutting off the fourth brake light, bolting this on for good. So here we are at Alfred's house. There's this bagged Mustang and we're about to pull the car into the driveway. I'm going to be taking off the bumper, bolt here, bolt there, and then the like little clips on the side and the bumper should come right off. I don't know if I should remove the headlights, it might be easier, but I'll leave them on for now. If I need to take them off, I'll take them off. I got the bumper off and just found out my car was hit in the rear. Look at that. Unless I was hit before. I have a feeling your car was hit twice. Yeah. Eh. That's cool. That's always nice to know new things about your car. Hey. Now we gotta. I don't know if I gotta remove the crash beam and saw this, but. Now I just have to cut this whole part out. And it's gone. No going back. I know this is overkill. I only need like one screw to be honest right there, but I'm putting three because I really do not want this thing coming off at all, ever. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting it onto the bumper. Put the bumper on. It wasn't fitting properly. It was, there was a really big gap right here because of this plastic cover piece right here. There we go. See now it's flush. So what I did is uh, use the grind tool that I had and just cut that plastic off because either way it's not going to be connected to this. So it's just stupid to have it. Check that out. That diffuser sticks out like two inches in the back. That's awesome. Now the whole car is basically complete with the lip kit. I don't know if I'm gonna go wide body now anymore because this looks so good on the stock body, but you gotta finish the build, right? So I didn't record much of it. It was just too hectic, hands all bloody. Um, fitment's not too bad, to be honest. Like for a replica kit, I knew it was gonna be like this. I'm still happy with it. Still looks good. Um, the rear reverse lights and all that, they work. The exhaust fits perfectly. Um, I mean everything's fine except the gap right there which is pretty like impossible to get flush so I'm not really mad about it still looks good because it's black same on this side so it's fine oh that looks so good definitely very happy with it damn Ah, damn, that looks super good. 
That is mad hella dope. Yeah, it does. Damn, I'm super happy with it. Whew. For a replica? Yeah, this is awesome. Definitely worth it. So here's a nice, sunny, beautiful day. And here's what the diffuser looks like. I think it looks amazing. Uh, definitely makes the car look 10 times better. So nice. Um, I thought it was scraping right here when I was driving. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it's like tiny chip there, here, and there, and there. But uh, now what I think it is, is actually this uh, I don't know if you guys can see it there we go my zip tie I've seen in there but I'm gonna use black silicone later fill it up but uh yeah definitely happy with how it looks it looks so good I like how much it pokes out you could still see the tips a little bit very nice super happy a lot of people screw these on I don't know if you guys will hear me for my because of my exhaust but a lot of people screw these on what I used is I drilled bigger holes I used perfect washers and bolts and tied it from both ends and that thing is not going anywhere it is on there solid so that's what I recommend you guys doing and then uh, to connect the reverse light all I did was splice the old harness and basically just uh, solder it and then use electrical tape and put it on and it works fine all the issue I might have is just the wiring is touching the exhaust a little bit so I have to fix that but other than that I'm super happy with how it looks so there you guys have it uh, somewhat quick install of the diffuser was running into a few issues because I had to cut off uh, extra parts that I didn't, didn't really want to but in the end it came out great still on there really tight uh, i'm going to be using black silicone to like fill out the gaps other than that really happy with the product it is a replica and for a replica it's really good in a later video i'm going to do a full walk around the car once i clean it because it's just been super cold here can't really uh, wash the car yet here in philly and i don't want to go through one of them like uh, i don't know what you would call them machine washes because i don't trust that it's going to just scratch up my car so thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.